So I'm going to show off this little operating system I've been working. It's a really simple text-based operating system. I plan to add a bit more to it. I'll make a full dev log in a mi in a few videos probably. So it's a really simple uh, operating system. You do ls, and it just gives you a list of the files and directories. Been doing a bit of testing. Use cd to go into a file. Right, if I do that, you can go into a file. Uh, you do back directory to go back. Really simple. Um, I've been working on a just now. I've been working on a file manager, just backend kind of stuff for creating files. If you did fm new uh, fl or file, and you can create a file. So let's say hello.txt uh, you see it's made the hello.txt file now so if you did open hello.txt it opens it in a little text editor um, that I made it says file auto generator so you can remove it let's just write hello world in it and if you want to save a file you can do colon and it comes up with a little command thing in it bobby at the bottom you can do control and then just type s colon and then e it being at the bottom with the colon does mean you can't use colons so i'm probably going to find a different way but unfortunately i haven't found a way y you can like detect multiple inputs in a console I i'd have to convert the entire thing to gui and what i've done so far is just console and nothing of that really good and um, a few other things that i have done is you i've made my own console so as you can see it's at the bottom here instead of like the text going at the top you can you write at the bottom so la 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 yeah i i i i ain't right i ain't right at the top and it's got yada 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 um so yeah, it's also got a nice shutdown message if you say shut down. Um, that's pretty much it. There's a few more things that I could go over. Uh, this B console is just a standard biscuit console. I'd call it biscuit. You can do biscuit dot read redacted. And you just say like for example password, and then you can have the password, and then you can do B console dot right line. That and you're gonna ask the password basically. It takes a while to build because it's an operating system, so probably skip this part. So, as you can see, it comes up with password, and you see because we're doing it redacted, that means you can't actually see the information. But obviously, because we're printing it out the second it gets it, if I just said if I wrote something like look up in here, or uh, let's write tech plane it, it, it prints it out at the top it's got a, a weird way of functioning the um, B console the only thing that like it works when you do something it just adds it to an array and then every time you update it it just renders the B console a render function which is pretty much it I, I'd like to change the render function because it doesn't allow for much at the moment like I want to add like you can create tables because usually you have to program tables and like yeah I, I'd like to add stuff like that um, I'd also like to show how the text editor works uh, I forgot how it works but I found this other text editor online called MIV and it was it, it worked all right, but you couldn't move up and down lines and stuff. You can't you can't like you can move up and lines on this one as you can see like like line edit, but you can't move like left and right. I have like icons you could put in, but I'd like to change that. So basically, how it just works is when you say start, it creates a blank screen, 
and it reads the contents of the file and it just starts by rendering it because if you don't render it first then it kind of just goes blank until you make a change like press the key or something when it needs to render and then the text editor just works by filling it up to the max height which is 24 and then setting the line edit to 0 and then the rest the next thing it checks for is if you press up arrow it's going to move the line up if you press the down arrow it's going to move the line down if you click backspace you have to manually program the functionality so you've got to say delete for example and then it also detects the colon commands and then if it's none of those other commands then it's just going to add the key to the end now I'd like to add more lines to like scrolling up and down so I'm probably going to add that and then it renders the screen and then it does that until the key is escape or exit and then the render screen just works by getting uh, I don't know why I called it chars but just gets a list of strings uh, a file name info and right line the info the file name and info I don't do anything with it but right line that's just a little bottom bit when you press colon you can write something in there so then it will because it's already max height the characters it don't need to do anything in there. It's not. It don't do much in this. It just goes through all the lines in the array. Uh, iterates through them, and then if the right line is the number that we're currently writing on, by the way, if the iteration line we're on when we're printing it is equal to the one we're writing on, we're just going to put a little thing around it so we know we're writing on that line. And then if it's not, we can just print it normally. Um, you can get into the text editor by just using open uh, in the prompt. If I show you that in a sec, once it opens. Um, there's a few bugs with this uh, at the moment. Uh, so if I just, for example, did hello, open hello.txt, you can see that little thing that goes around it and I can just write and there's a few bugs like you there you saw when I type fast it just freezes I'd like to fix that uh, just make it a bit smoother feel nicer and you can just do control that to exit another thing is is after a while like this that freezes but that's just it being weird but sometimes the B console just stops taking input and you have to close the entire operating system and restart it um, and I, I think that's pretty much it uh, to show you. So thanks for watching, I guess. Bye.